I'm Montana. I'm an artist and trained behavioral health technician working with Cropped. Cropped is a creative mindfulness brand on a mission to get people out of their heads and into their hands. Today, that's what I'll be doing. I'll be getting out of my head and into my hands by making a little face planter like this. And I'll show you guys how. I am going to get started by ripping off the majority of my brick of clay, about three fourths. And I want to get that clay warmed up by using the palms of my hands and eventually roll it into a ball. Now that I have my ball of clay, I want to start making my pinch pot. So I've identified the middle of my ball here. And what I want to do is push my thumb into the middle of the ball, basically as far as it can go without piercing through to the other side. Now I have this little hole in my ball here. I'm going to pop my thumb back into this little piece of clay. Use these four fingers to pinch, just slowly and gently, and then use my thumb to pull the clay up from the inside. Since it's starting to get difficult for me to reach the bottom of the pot with my thumb, I'll switch to using a tool instead. My ball of clay is now transformed into this little pinch pot. I am just going to focus on smoothing out cracks, getting rid of any lumpy bumpy bits, and basically just perfecting the vessel before I add any more clay to it. Now that my pinch pot is nice and smooth, nice and even, I'm going to move on and start making a little face. I'll grab some more clay. Start rolling the clay into a ball. And then start rolling it up and down in my hands or up and down on my surface to get a long, even, snake-like shape or a coil. I am going to grab my spiky tool here and score the areas of play that are coming into contact with each other. I'm dabbing the scored areas with just a bit of water. Then attaching and blending. To create the rest of your face, you'll repeat the same steps of creating a coil, scoring, attaching, and blending. Once you're done perfecting your piece, all that's left to do is carve your initials in the bottom and then leave it to dry. Either paint it with acrylic paint after a couple days for a super awesome air dried decorative piece or after about a week of drying, take it to a local studio to get fired in a kiln. That will make your peas water safe, food safe, ready for a plant to just go directly inside. Thanks so much for watching. Show us your creations and let us know what you want to see next.